Hi, my name is David and I'd like to welcome you to this uh, first tutorial on Illustrator. It's actually the first of the upcoming series where I, will, uh, I would like to share with you tips and the tricks and the techniques uh, of how to use uh, Illustrator effectively, wisely, uh, quickly and easily. Uh, in this uh, tutorial I'd like to share with you two ways of creating vector arts. But before we do that, I'd like you to turn your Smart Guides on. And you can do this here in this View menu, Smart Guides. The shortcut for this is Control u Command u on a Mac. Um, if you don't have them on, turn them on. It will make your work in Illustrator um, easier, better, more effective. Smart Guides will simply help you create vector uh, artwork that is proportionate, that is nice and smooth. So let's, uh, let's uh, have them on, let's turn them on, and let's off-click here, and let's move to our first, uh, first technique. The first technique uh, will use the pen tool. Uh, we can invoke the pen tool uh, in two ways. I usually simply hit the P key, like so. As you can see, uh, the P key lies right here. The tooltip says it's the pen tool. And we'll start with clicking and dragging. Let's click and drag while holding the shift key and let's drag up. This will um, start our half circle. If we click and drag, drag up, okay, like so. Then you can see our smart guide helps us to see that um, whenever if we click somewhere right here it's going to be on the same level as our first anchor point right here and that's what we want to do. We want to have this next point on the same level. Okay, so let's click and drag, but now let's uh, drag, let's shift drag uh, down. So let's click, let's hold down the shift key, and let's drag down, like so. As you can see, we're creating a nice little um, half circle. Okay, so let's, so let's let go of the mouse. Now we have to add the third anchor point, and it's going to be down here. As you can see, our smart, smart guide um, helps us again. It uh, shows us w when or where our uh, anchor point will be in line with our top anchor point, top right anchor point. So if we click and drag down, uh, we are going to create a nice bottom half uh, of the heart with a nice curvature. So let's click, shift click and drag down and let's let go of the mouse. As you can see we've created a nice left uh, part of the heart. So now what we have to do is to um, copy and reflect this uh, half, this uh, left side of the heart to the right to make it uh, well, a full heart. So we're gonna, I'm gonna um, turn to my uh, selection tool, the V key, and I'm gonna move this somewhere to the left. Now what I have to do is to invoke the Reflect tool and I usually do it by hitting the O key, like so. As you can see, my uh, pen tool changed to my Reflect tool and I'm gonna Alt-click here on this anchor point. This will allow me to start my transformation from this anchor point. So it's Alt and click. Well, as you can see, because uh, I have my preview on, I already can see how this transformation is going to work. Um, it's going to um, reflect the left part of the heart to the right, according to this anchor point right here. Of course, you can, you can reflect it horizontally if you want to do that. Uh, you can reflect it by some certain, some certain angle value. I'm making this rotate actually, but we're not going to do that. We just want to, we just want to vertically, vertically reflect this. Uh, we're not going to hit OK. We're going to hit Copy in order to copy the left part of the heart to the right. So we're going to copy. And as you can see, we have a perfect little heart already. But what we need to do is um is to go to our direct selection tool because we have to drag around these anchor points and join them. So we have to go Control. J or Command J. We're gonna we, we're gonna have to we have to do the same for the bottom uh, two anchor points. We're gonna Control J to join them. Um, if you want to join them by going to the object path and join, you can do that. But I think it's it's really good to learn uh, the Control J shortcut in order to to join uh, the anchor points. So we already have nice heart. Uh, we can always um, give this a nice color. We can go to our fill mm, color. It's it's best to use the uh, the X key. 
and we're gonna go up here to our swatches panel and let's choose a nice red color. So this is our this is our heart. This is the first way of creating a heart. Now let's move this to the right. Now the second technique. The second technique uh, will require uh, to use um, firstly the the ellipse tool. So we can go to our panel tool and simply choose the ellipse tool or we can go to our keyboard and choose uh, the L uh, and click uh, hit the L key like so and while uh, while holding down the shift key we're gonna click and drag to create a, uh, a circle. Um, Let's let, let, let's um, let's get rid of the the, the fill. Let's hit um, uh, let's just hit here, or we can use the shortcut um, the slash key. Um, what we now have to do is we have to get rid of this bottom anchor point right here. We have to delete it, uh, not remove it, because these are two different things. Uh, if we delete if we delete the key, we're gonna be uh, left with a uh, with an open path, and that's what we're looking for. If we simply remove it, we'll be left um, with three anchor points joined by paths, and we're gonna have a totally different shape. So we we have to delete this bottom key. So let's just to make sure. Let's drag around it and let's hit the delete key, leaving us uh, with a nice uh, half circle. Now we have to move to our arc tool. Well, there is no default shortcut for the arc tool, so uh, many of you who don't like shortcuts, I love shortcuts, um, can be relieved because we need to have we, we need to go physically to to the arc tool. Of course, if you want to create your uh, your own custom uh, shortcut for this, you can do so. So we're gonna go to the arc tool, and we're gonna click right here at this anchor point, and we're gonna drag. We're gonna draw it. We're gonna draw it and drag it. So we have, as you can see, as our smart guide tells us, we're aligned with our top right anchor point. So we're gonna drag, and we're gonna let go of the mouse. This this is not even even close to a heart shape, at least in my opinion. So what we what we still need to do is to manipulate this arc uh, arc down here, and we have to do this by selecting it uh, with a with a direction tool. So um, we can do this both ways. We can go well in three ways actually. We can click right here to to turn to invoke our um, selection tool, direct selection tool, or we can simply hit the A key or we can simply hit the control key or command on the Mac. Now command or control key, um, hitting it and holding it will always uh, change your current tool to to any selection tool you had uh, prior to s changing it to some other tool. So I had uh, my um, direct selection tool before, so if I hold down the control key I'm gonna I'm gonna have I'm gonna invoke the, um, the direct selection tool. So if I go to the ellipse tool and I click uh, and hold the the control key, I'm gonna temporarily be switched to 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 direct selection tool. So that's great. That's perfect. I'm gonna select. I'm gonna drag around somewhere somewhere right here around this arc tool. And as you can see, we have two direction handles here. We have one and we have two. But we're only concerned with the, with the bottom one. If we go to if we if we simply click and drag this up here, as you can see, we're manipulate manipulating the arc. And we are left with nice, with a nice curvature, with a nice curve, and we have our uh, left side of our heart ready. So what we need to do is to simply um, drag around it, and as we did before, uh, simply go to the reflect tool, and Alt click here at this anchor point, Alt click, hit copy, and there we go. We have our, our we have our uh, heart uh, created. We of course have to join these, join these uh, anchor points. So now what we have to do is we have to select the heart and let's give it a nice a pink color. Okay, so there you go. These are the two techniques of creating uh, of creating hearts. Now in my uh, coming tutorials I'll show you how to how to mark the exact uh, center point of an artboard. Uh, we'll learn some masking. We'll we'll learn some transformations. Uh, we're gonna learn all the good stuff, all the basics that you're gonna need when creating artwork, uh, the nice, effective, the right and easy way. Okay, so thank you for watching, stay tuned, 